already been entertaining you and answering your questions. I think she has so much more information to share. But before she officially gets started, I just want to say thank you very much for coming to the library today to experience the Poop Museum with us. We have been excited about this for months, months. Let's really officially get started. And here's Susie with the Poop Museum. Thank you very much. As Shiloh says, my name is Susie, but I absolutely love poo. Anybody else love poo? Yeah, I do. Yay! You don't? No? No poo? Ooh poo? Ooh poo? Not ooh poo, but ooh poo. Ew. Ew! All right, well, I'm going to see if I can convince you guys to be like, ooh poo. But I love it so much that my nephew Henry now calls me Auntie Poozie. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Now, why, why would I love poop? Why do you guys think? What is there to love about poop? Brown poop. Brown poop. Well, poop can be used as power. Poop can be used as power. We tend to think of poop as just brown and stinky. Yeah. But I'm going to give myself a little, um, a little... Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth is connected. Can you guys hear me a little better? Yeah. Yes. We tend to think about poop as brown and stinky because we are all brown stinky poopers, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. But there is poop that isn't stinky at all. There's some poop that smells like cough drops. <laughs> there is poop that is sweet and tasty. Ew. Ew. There is poop that you can play in. Uh-huh, and have a really good time, I may say. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, ew. And poop comes in every single color. Black poop, white poop, yellow poop, orange poop, red poop, pink poop, blue poop, purple poop, green poop. Rainbow sparkly poop. Ew. What? Yes. There is every kind of color of poop. And you are going to meet some very colorful poopers today. You're also going to meet the sweet, tasty pooper. Now, you guys, there is even poop, the sweet, tasty poop. You can eat it. Yes. Candy uh, poop. Candy poop. It is basically candy poop. Now, you guys, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite poopers. It is the rainbow pooper. Snails can poop every single color of the rainbow. And that's because whatever color food they eat, that is the color of their poop. So if they eat green leaves, green poop. Orange mango, orange poop. But snails have a shell. And they need some special materials to grow their shell and make their shell called calcium. And they love to get the calcium out of cardboard and paper. So if you leave cardboard and paper in your yard, your snails will eat them, and whatever color cardboard or paper you left there, that is the color that they will poop. Like red cherry. Like red, yes. Purple paper, purple poop. Red paper, red poop. If you do white, If you do white paper, their poop will be white. And if you do rainbow sparkly paper, Rainbow sparkly. So poop comes in every single, every single color. What if they eat a whole rainbow? But it also comes in every single different type. Bubbles. <gasps> There's poop that's like bubbles. What? Yes, poop like bubbles. And the first pooper that I want to introduce you to is this guy. This little bug, this little bug is really cute, but it's also really clever because this bug, it, well, it does all kinds of things actually, but this bug does sweet, tasty poo. And the reason that it does, it's called, it's called an aphid and it likes to live on our plants. And it's got this very pointy, spiky, almost like a needle proboscis, which it pokes into the plants and slurps out all the sweet, tasty sugars 
inside the plant. And it does this all day long because these amazing little bugs can give birth every single day to five live clone babies. Now, anyone in this room who's given birth to one live baby will know that that takes lots and lots of energy. And these bugs are doing it five times a day, so they are always, always eating, sucking the sugar. And say that again. Can you eat bugs? Can you eat this? You don't want to eat this bug. But hold on tight because maybe you might get to eat some of their poop. Huh? Like candy poop. Now, they because they eat so much, they poop a lot. How much poop do they do? I want you guys to imagine a big pile of poop right, a big pile of poop right next to you, as big as your whole body. Right? That's so much poop. These little bugs do as much poop as their whole body every two hours. They do so much pooping, and their poop looks like. This. It's a little liquidy bubble of sweet, tasty poo. We can't even eat it. Now, you guys, do you like sweet, tasty things? Who likes sweet, tasty things? Me. Who's this guy, you guys? An ant. Yes. And it turns out that our friends, the ants, also like sweet, tasty treats. Oh. <gasps> Like aphid poop. Ants love to eat aphid poop. Now, they love to eat aphid poop so much that they actually look after the aphids and protect them. They protect the sweet, tasty poopers from the bugs that would like to eat the sweet, tasty poopers. Ladybugs like to eat the aphids. But the ants are like, hey, stop eating our sweet, tasty poopers. And the ladybugs are like, oh no, we will not stop eating your sweet, tasty poopers. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Until all the ants are like, catch a pa! And the, the ants chase away the ladybugs to protect their sweet, tasty poopers. Now, how much do these ants love this sweet, tasty poop? They love it so much that they hang out with the aphids, they protect the aphids, and they wait very patiently while the aphids, ooh, I'm in need of a little sweet, tasty snack. Watch the aphids bum. Here comes the poop. Yeah. Oh! Delicious! Yeah. He basically did poop as food. Mm. Yeah. Now, you guys, there are. Yeah. There are other little animals that love this sweet, tasty poo. Bees. bees. But bees don't eat this sweet, tasty poop for food. They eat the sweet, tasty poop to do something else with it. Make honey. Make honey. Honey out of poop. <laughs> honey out of poop. Yes. Now, in case, thank you so much. Not all, most honey comes from, what does it most come from? Bees. It comes from the bees, the bees make it, but what do they make it from? Hold on a minute. They make it from nectar from flowers. So most of the honey, in fact, probably all the honey that you guys have in your house comes from flowers. Go ahead. Another gross thing about honey is actually honey is made by bees keep vomiting it out. Oh yes, 
They do. Now, you guys, that's awesome that you know that. I was about to tell everybody. Now, bees, you guys, if you don't know this, they have two stomachs. They have a honey stomach right here, and they have their food stomach down here. And what they do is they fly around collecting all the goodness that they're going to make the honey from, and then they fly back to the hive, and they find another bee, and they're like, hey, are you ready to make some honey? Yep, I'm ready. Good. <laughs> Your turn! And this can go back and forth. As many as 100 times until all of this. Until all of this has been turned into delicious honey. Yes. Now, this poop honey has a special name. It's called honeydew honey. And you guys, honeydew honey. Honeydew honey. Would anybody like to try some? Yes. <laughs> All right. You are very, just say where you are. I'm going to come to you. <laughs> and, uh, here we go. We have an extra hand if we Oh, we got an extra hand? Uh, let me just get some more. All right, I'm going to start that side. Let me give you some sticks. Honey! All right, who wants to be the first one to eat some? And you know what? When you go, when you go and see uh, your grandparents or whatever, you can say it'll be like, "What did you do at the start of your vacation? School vacation? Oh, I went and ate. I went and ate poop at the library." Yeah. All right, here we go. You go, you take it. Oh, what do you think? Delicious. Hang on a second. I'm gonna be right there. All right, you guys, very brave to eat the poop, honey. You ready? All right. <laughs> um, any adults are welcome as well to try it if they want. I want to try it. You're going to try it? I'll be right with you. Let me just get these. Don't worry, we will not miss anybody. There you go. What do you guys think? Me. You? Oh, you guys are so brave. Now, there you go. Just a minute ago, you thought poop was gross. Exactly. Now you're eating the stuff. But, but it is honey. Yummy. Honey, mm -hmm. delicious. honey is delicious. And actually, I think this might be one of the most delicious honeys of all time. Are you going to try some? Hang on a second. Hang on. Let me go in, let me go in order. Don't worry. It's good, huh? For any of you that, any of the adults who are honey aficionados, I'm told by those who know about these things that this is as good or even some people think better than raw honey. Ooh, nearly dropped it on your head. There we go. Did you try some? Do you want to try some? I tried some You tried some? Did you think it was awesome? Yeah. Delicious, right? Those clever bees. Making honey. Do you want to try some? You haven't tried any yet? All right, don't worry. We're going to get everybody some honey. All right, there we There you go. You guys going to try some? Yeah. No? No for, not for you? There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just pour it right in. <laughs> There you go. Anybody else over this side want to try some? Oh, you do want to try some. I want to. Just after Chase. So he doesn't vomit. <laughs> Anybody else want to try some? Yeah. Yes, over there? <laughs> there you go. All right, did we get everybody? Oh, you haven't had any yet? Let's get you. What brand is that? Sorry? What brand is that? It's um, from a company called Nelson Honey. Oh. And uh, you'll get a little thing at the end. Do you want to try some? Thank you. Anybody else? No? Yes? 
Can I see the jar too? Hi, one. There you go. Yeah, it's Nelson Honey. Um, you can find it on our website. They've given um, they've done a discount for anybody who wants to buy some as well. So there's a card at the end. Yes, of course. That's because he wants seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that for you, Mom? Or yeah? There you go. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. I do. I do. You already had some. No, I didn't. You didn't? Everybody starts coming back for seconds, and then I don't know who's had it. Oh, that's a little bit. You want to put that in your mouth real quick because that's going to drip. Okay, you guys. Did we get everybody? No. No. Oh, you've changed your mind. No, I never, I never said no. Oh, you just want to see it, let the other guys go first? Yeah. There you go. All right. You guys? I know. Honey. She has honey, I haven't got any. You didn't have any either? Oh, my goodness me. That's so good, honey. It's such good honey, right? So delicious. Oh, that's okay. We'll take care of that. All right, there you go. Okay, you guys want to move back a little bit for me? We'll make sure we got everybody. All right, there we go. That's all right. I'll get that one. Oh, there you go. Go sit down for me, okay? All right, what did you guys think? Delicious. Thank you very much. Too sweet? It is pretty sweet. It is very, very sweet. Why is it so sticky? Well, honey is sticky and they do. It is a little, do you want to move a little further back? Cause it's, it's a little loud right here. Is that okay? Do you want to do that? We are. I didn't get any. What? How on earth did that happen? All right, you guys, are you ready? Should we keep going? So much things, so much stuff to learn about poop. All right, everybody sit down for me. Yeah, pop that, leave that one there for me, okay? All right, you guys. Now, bees are very, very clever at turning ha huh, poop into honey, which I think, are we agreed? That's very clever, super genius. But do bees poop? Yes, yes, they do poop. Do you guys want to guess what? Yellow poop. Yellow poop. Yes, bees do. They do make yellow poop. And not only do they make yellow poop, you guys, they make a lot of poop. So outside the hive, it looks a little bit like this. And as the poop, yellow poop starts to dry out, it looks brown or orange, but it starts out really bright yellow. Now you guys probably know that in the hive, there is a big boss. The queen bee. What you might not know is that the queen is the only bee that is allowed to poop inside the hive. And lay her eggs. No one is allowed to poop inside the hive except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up my poop and do your poops outside. <laughs> yes, your majesty. <laughs> so all of the bees have to take, they take the queen's poop and take it, take it outside and they have to do their poops outside which is not a problem most of the year. But do you guys see bees in the winter? Mm -mm. It is too cold for those guys in the winter, so they have to stay inside the hive. But they're not allowed to poop inside the hive. Yeah. Dear Mrs. Queen, it's the winter. Can we poop inside the hive? What do you think she says? No. She does indeed say, no, you may not. And what that means for our bees is that like pooping in the winter. no pooping in the winter 
They got to squeeze their butts <laughs> and do no poo. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so long. Uh. Yeah. And what does that mean? It means that in the springtime, when they finally escape, bzz, bzz, a super duper poop fest. But how much poop? Can a bee save up in its butt all winter long? That's a lot of poop. And it looks very remarkably like mustard. Ah. Now, well, that just means you've got to be careful in the spring. Because <laughs> if a bee pooped on your hot dog, you wouldn't know. But that's a lot of poop, right? Yeah. Hold still because. There's more. Oh my good What? Oh. That is so much poo, and they gotta hold that in all winter long. Now you guys, bees don't poop in the winter except for the queen who gets all her poop cleaned up, but there is an animal on our planet that does not ever, never, never poo. And you might have seen that book that says everybody poops, but they don't. Does anybody want to guess? Who doesn't poop? Yes, of course you can. Who do you think doesn't poop? You. Me? I definitely poop. <laughs> Go ahead, who do you think? You don't poop. Who? Oh, no, not them. Who do you think doesn't poop? Fish. No, they are big poopers. What do you think? They're tiny poopers, not cats. Mealworms. Now, I don't actually know about mealworms. There are definitely worms that don't poop. There are some worms that don't poop, but most most per, no most worms do poop. Some uh, worms don't have a butt. Yeah, and they they eat with their mouth and they poop out of their mouth. Say again. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. All right, you guys. Who is it that does not poop? Butterflies. They never, ever, ever poop. And the reason that they don't is because they never actually eat anything. They only drink things with their special curly proboscis. The question is, do they pee? And technically, they don't pee either. But if they do get too much liquid in their bodies, they can do a little spray of liquid out of their bodies. But they don't technically pee at all. But what they do like, do you guys know what they like to drink? Nectar. Nectar. Yes, they like, like to bees. drink. They just like bees. But our friends, the butterflies, also like to drink blood and pee and tears and and the one of their favorites is poop juice poop juice when there are nice wet poops our friends the bees our friends the butterflies like to find these nice fresh wet poops and suck all the poop juice out of them yeah then, then they make them dry. Now, when they are caterpillars, do they poop? Yes. yes, they do, because the caterpillar's job is to do what? Poop. Poop. Wow, their job. The hungry There's a hungry caterpillar because their job is to eat stuff, right? Yes. Num, 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 and then. <laughs> but our friends, the caterpillars, sometimes they don't even stop eating when they need to poo. There it goes. Oh, 
eating and pooping all at the same time. They're so busy with all the eating and pooping. Go ahead. Hold on, guys, because I can't hear anything. Go ahead. I have the caterpillar look at my head. It's a great book, isn't it? It is the hungry caterpillar. I have more books that um, have the caterpillar, but on the side. All right. Go ahead. Oh, that is so nice. Well, you can watch them and see what you can see them drinking. Go ahead. Hold on, guys. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Caterpillars don't just eat the eggs they come out of. They also eat the skins that they shed. Now, you guys, you have just met an animal that doesn't poop in the winter and an animal that never poops ever. But there are animals on our planet that do poop but don't have a butt. Right? So the worms that I just told you about, everybody okay down there? But there are other animals as well that poop jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish eat with their mouth, which is under here, and then they poop out of their mouth. Blech. Blech. Anybody want to be starfish actually have they the starfish are amazing because their mouth is on the bottom but they poop out of the top of their head. Yeah. They do. They poop out of the top of their head. Now you guys, if there are animals without butts, Snakes! Now I want you guys to put your thumbs up if you think the snake has a butt. And put your thumb down if you think that the snake does not have a butt. Oh, well I think maybe go, mom, I think mom's gonna fix that for you. All right, thumbs up if you think they do have a butt. Thumbs down if you think they do not have a butt. Oh, hedging our bets. Down, 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 up. Oh, up and down, 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 down. Oh, not sure. Down, down, not sure, down. <laughs> not sure. All right, let's ask our friend the snake. Mr. Snake? Do you have a butt? Do you have a butt? He does have a butt. You did great. Now the question, other question for Mr. Snake is, hold on everybody because Mr. Snake's going to tell us where his butt is. Mr. Snake, where's your butt? My butt is by my butt. <laughs> Where is the snake's butt? What is he trying to tell us? It is right, well done. This is the snake's tail. And its butt is right before its tail underneath its body. And when it poos, it goes like this. Now, you guys, here is a very fascinating thing to know. Not only does the snake have a butt, it has a super duper fancy butt that poops and farts yeah. and also pees. They do their pee out of their butt. And the females also lay their eggs. Now, you guys, it is not just the snakes that have this fancy super butt. It's all the reptiles in the entire world. Komodo dragons, iguanas, lizards, alligators, crocodiles. They all have one of these amazing butts. Go ahead. <laughs> it would not poop and lay its eggs. It doesn't even pee and poop at the same time. But you guys, I want to tell you that the, ama the name of this amazing butt is called the cloaca. Can you guys say it? Cloaca. 
And someone earlier said, why do I have Olaf? And I have Olaf here because in Frozen 2, Olaf says, hey, do you know turtles can breathe through their butts? Yes. Yes, and Olaf is correct. Because turtles also are reptiles and they also have one of these fancy butts. But they, if they get stuck underwater, can suck water into their bums. And inside their bums, they have special gills that allow them to get oxygen out of the water. So they don't just pee and poo and lay eggs and fart. They can also breathe with their butts. Now you guys, would you like to see what it looks like for a snake to pee and poo? Yeah. Yes. Let's have a look. Here we go. All right. This is the pee. All right. And you can see that it is it's a little liquidy like ours, but can you also see the yellow lumpy stuff? Yeah. It is not unusual for snakes to have solid pee. In fact, you can see right here, that yellow stuff, that big chunky yellow stuff, that's their pee. <coughs> they do their pee first, and then comes out a little, this is a pee poo combination. You can see it's brown and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes the poo. Here it is. Oh my goodness, it's huge. It is a huge, it's a huge poo. And one of the reasons why snakes do such big poos is because they eat big meals. Not like us, we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Snakes might eat once every couple of weeks or once every couple of months, and then they do gigantic poo. Yeah. Now, snakes are not the only ones that poo and pee at the same time because... Birds. Now, you guys said earlier about bird poo being white. It's not because the white stuff is... P. This brown stuff in the middle is the bird's poop, and the white stuff on the outside no, is I their pee. pee. I, I said pee on their benches. Yeah, so anybody ever been poo peed on? No. <laughs> no. They can never reach me. And if you ever wondered what a bird's bum actually looks like, it looks like this. Yeah. And they do very messy, wet poops. So let me ask you this question. If mom has all her little babies in her baby nest and they're all peeing and pooping at the same time, how does she keep her nest nice and clean? How does she stop it getting covered in baby bird pee and poop? What do you guys think? What, what do you think mom might do? Covered in leaves. Covered in leaves. This would be a good idea. What do you think? What do you think? He keeps spitting on me. He, oh, please don't spit. Oh, we don't want to do. We don't want to do that. No, that's not nice. Go ahead. What do you think, Mom does? They make the babies pee and poop outside. They make the babies pee and poop outside. Look, put their bums over the edge of the nest. Yeah. That's a good idea. What do you think, Moms do? Go ahead. What do you think, Moms do? I will answer that afterwards. Come up, come up afterwards and ask me that because we're going to talk about these guys. What do you think the birds do? Uh, they eat the baby poo. Okay, so eat the baby's poo. That could be a strategy too. Should we see what bird moms do? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here comes mom. Here's the babies wanting the, she's got food for the babies. Oh, here it comes. Oh, she does eat it. Anybody else need to pee and poo while I'm here? Me, please, Mom. Oh, now. <laughs> Parents, you guys, just move back. Just move back a very little bit for me, okay? Now, the reason why mom is able to do this is because when baby birds poop, their poop and pee comes out wrapped in a tiny, thin layer of skin, like a little diaper bag. <laughs> yeah, like a little poop bag.
baggy. And that means that it doesn't come out all messy and go splat. And mom has the option to either here, eat it, or just grab it and take it and fly away with it. Pretty clever. Okay, no, no spitting, okay? No spitting. All right, you guys. Now, I told you that there is poop you can play in. That's a parrotfish. That is a parrotfish. And what kind of poop does a parrotfish poop? Sand. Sand. Oh, you guys know some stuff. Outstanding. Parrotfish. They're amazing fish. High five. High five. Yeah, High yeah. five. High five. Yeah. Yes, you guys knew all about this. This parrotfish. High five, high five, high five. High five everybody who knew it was a parrotfish. I just gave you a high five. There you go. Now this fish has these big, big powerful chompy teeth because they like to eat the coral at the bottom of the sea. And they love to eat the coral because they're after the algae that live inside the coral. But to get it, They've got a munch on the coral. And here they are. They're swimming. They want, exactly. Yeah, they're little creatures that live on the coral. They are little creatures that live inside the coral. They, they don't really want the polyps, which are something different. But you see these fish, they just swim around, taking big bites out of not just the coral reef, but also rocks. Go ahead. They also can also chop through wood. They can chop through wood, but mostly they are not going to. Now, this is their poo, you guys. Yeah. This is their poo. Yeah. And as you can see, they are pooping all over each other. <laughs> yeah, and swimming through each other's poops. Yeah. Now, what happens to this sand? It all goes to the bottom of the sea. It's how we have sand at the bottom of the sea, yes, but it's also how we have some of our beaches. Yes, there are, anybody ever been to Hawaii? No. No? <laughs> Parrotfish poop. The most of the beaches in Hawaii are about 70 to 80 percent parrotfish poop. And Australia too. You guys don't have to worry up here. <laughs> The parrotfish is a tropical fish, but these fish, just one fish can poop a thousand pounds of, fi of poop every year. So they actually build islands. They are, these are poop islands. Been pooped out by these fish. Now you guys. You are playing in poop. Yes. Now you guys, I'm, these parrotfish do lots and lots of poop, but who am I going to talk about now? Pandas. pandas. And pandas love to eat bamboo. bamboo. And they eat so much bamboo that they have to poop a lot. Now, They do sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Well done. You know, I'm going to, there's a little Professor Pooplet Award over here. Now, you guys, I want you to guess. The average human, average human poops one time a day. How many times a day do you think poop a lot panda poops? Uh, 100 times? A thousand? Infinite. Ten million? Teach you? Very impressive. Anybody else want to guess how many times? 300? How many times do you think a panda poops? 500. 500. Oh, there's a very sore bum going on here. What do you think? 100. These are outstanding guesses. Yeah. How many times do you think? A, a zillion? A gazillion, even. Oh, a dozen. <laughs> How many times do you think a panda poops? 150. These are good guesses. Any other guesses anywhere? How many times do you think? 100 also. How about you? 1100. How many? Oh, a thousand. Oh my goodness. These poor. Oh, how many times? 50. 50 times? 
Well, you are absolutely 100% correct. What? Pandas poop as many as 50 times a day. That's like every half an hour. And that means that they basically wake up and they eat for 16 hours a day and poop for 16 hours a day. Eating and pooping, eating and pooping, eating and pooping, and eating and pooping, and eating and pooping, and eating and pooping, and eating and pooping, until they are so tired they go to bed. Tired out from all the eating and pooping. Do they poop in bed? But then, they're still pooping when they're sleeping. They do poop while they're sleeping. Now sometimes our friends the pandas just like to eat the sticks. And then their poop comes out yellow like this because they just eat the yellow sticks but sometimes as our friend said i don't know where he's gone sometimes they only eat the leaves and then their poop comes out green but what does it look like when a panda is pooping in its sleep oh. Oh, 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 now if you are pooping 50 times a day and you're hanging out with your friend, let's play. I got a poo. Me too. Be right back. Let's play. I got a poo. Me too. Be right back. I got a poo. Me too. Ah. Now I think that all of this pooping, they get a little bored of all this pooping. So sometimes, they try to make pooping a little more interesting for themselves. Yes. agree that is the world's naughtiest pooper? Yeah. Yes! Naughty pandas! Now these pandas poop a lot but this animal, anybody know who this is? A sloth! A sloth. Now a panda poops 350 times a week but the sloth poops only one time a week! Only one time? Can anybody guess why the sloth only poops one time a week? Because it sleeps a lot. That's part of it. Because it's so slow. That's part of it. Five? Only one. Only one time. Why do you think the sloth doesn't poop so much? Doesn't eat so much? These, this is good thinking. This is all solid thinking, you guys. All right. All right. That's, a, that's logical, right? What do you think? Okay. It is partly because they're so slow. Why do you think they, don't, they only poop once a week? All right. That's all about the eating. Go ahead. Because they um, cause they don't really like. I don't know. They like to eat. They don't like to eat. They don't like to eat. What do you guys think? Um, because they crawl around a lot. Right. 
I will tell you, it is partly because they're really slow, they're really lazy, but they actually do eat quite a lot of food. But the big reason why they only poop one time a week is because it's very dangerous business for a sloth to poop. And almost half of all sloth deaths happen while they're pooping. So they never, ever, ever poop from up in their tree where they live because they don't want to tell any predators where their little home safe place is. So they wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until they can't wait anymore. And then they take a look. Then they make their way out of their tree. They always leave their tree to poop. They get down to the bottom. They wriggle their bums in the dirt. They wrap their arms around the dirt, uh, around the tree, and then they get a very big smile on their face because they are about to poop one third of their body weight. Yes, and not just smile, but they also do a very happy poop dance. <laughs> How many of you think you would do a poop dance if you only pooped once a week? Well, ten times a week. Ten times a week! I think we would all do a poop dance if we only pooped once a week. But this is what it looks like when our friends, the sloth, do their poop dances. Now, I do think we would all do a poop. Does anybody want to show me the poop, their poop dance? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do a poop dance with the sloth, you guys. Come on, let's do a poop dance. Where's the sloth? Ready? And... Outstanding poop dances, you guys. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit now about your poop. All right? Because we've talked about lots and lots of animal poops, but we are big poopers, too. Have a seat for me, okay, because I want to show you guys something. Scientists study our poop, too, and we have all kinds of different ways in which we poop. Type 1 and type 2 means we're probably a little constipated. Type 3 and type 4, perfect poop. Number 5 and number 6 might mean we've eaten something that our body doesn't like too much. And you guys know what number 7 is, right? Diarrhea. 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 Now, I want to talk to you about the perfect human poop okay all right now this is a perfect human poop and there are some important things for you guys to know about this poop first of all how much food leftovers is in our poop now i want you guys just to show me with your hands if you think there's lots of food in this poop Put your hands out like this. If you think there's a medium-sized bit of food in this poop, put your hands like this. And if you think there's only a little bit of food in our perfect poop, just go like this. So what do you guys think? Lots and lots of food, medium, lots, 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 little bit. How much food do you think's in this poop? Lots, lots, medium, a little bit. Lots, lots, art, lots. All right, here is the interesting thing about this poop. If this is the perfect poop, then the amount of it that is food is only about... <laughs> about this much. You were correct. Everyone who said there's only a little bit of food in our poop is correct. What do you guys think? Is that a surprise? Yeah. Only a very tiny little bit. Oh. It's a brownie. It's a brownie. <laughs> it is a brownie. Oh, so good. Now, if it's okay with your adults, I have some cat poops that you can have, it or a rabbit poop. 
If it's okay with your parents, would you like? Are you? Okay, is it okay with your grown-ups? Do you want a, Do you want a cat poop or rabbit poop? Are there brownies? They're all brownies. No nuts. I'll I'll get it for you. What which would you like? Cat poop or rabbit? Rabbit. Rabbit poop. There you go. What would you like? Cat poop or rabbit poop? I'll get it for you. Cat poop. There you go. What would you like? Cat poop or rabbit poop? Cat poop. There you go. Cat poop, rabbit poop. Rabbit poop. There you go. If you've got your poop, go and sit down, you guys. What would you like? Cat poop or rabbit poop? Rabbit. Rabbit. There you go. Cat poop, rabbit poop. Pardon? Do you want a cat poop or a rabbit poop? Rabbit poop. Rabbit poop is very popular today. What would you like? Cat poop or rabbit poop? Cat. Cat. There you go. There you go. Cat poop or rabbit poop? Cat poop. There you go. Cat poop or rabbit poop? Cat poop. There you go. Cat poop or rabbit poop? There we go. What would you like? Cat poop. Cat poop. There you go. Cat poop. Two cat poops coming up. There you go. All right. Cat poop or rabbit poop? There you go. Cat. There you go. Cat poop or rabbit poop? Are they all brownies? Yes, they are. Cat poop? There you go. Cat poop, rabbit poop? Cat poop. Cat poop. How about you? Cat. There we go. Cat poop. Oh, we're getting, running, getting low. Cat poop or rabbit poop? I'm going to get it for you. Cat poop. There you go. Cat poop or rabbit poop? There you go. Oh, we're going to run out of poop. Uh, can, we, can you have rabbit poop? Yeah. Fantastic. Rabbit poop. Nice big fat rabbit poop. Rabbit poop. There we go. Rabbit poop, cat poop? Cat poop. Rabbit poop? Oh, cat poop. Cat poop. You're going to get the last cat poop. Everybody else? Yeah. It's rabbit poop. There you go. Did you get one? There you go. Rabbit poop. Oh, my goodness. Now, you guys. Oh, you didn't get, did you not get one? Rabbit poop. You don't want one? You already had one. All right. Now, you guys, what else is in this poop? I don't know. What's in it? There's all kinds of things in your poop. But first of all, I just want to tell you where does all the food go if it doesn't go in your, if it doesn't go in your poop? Where does it go? It goes down into your stomach. <laughs> you do sometimes burp. That's your stomach doing an important thing. When it goes in your stomach, your stomach goes all squash and squeeze and squash and squeeze and squash and squeeze to mix it all up. And then it sends all of your food all mixed up and mushed up into your small intestines. And here you have a whole bunch of little creatures, little bacterias, and their job is to turn your food into tiny, tiny particles so that it can go through your intestine, through the wall, into your blood, and then your blood delivers all the goodness from your food like the Amazon delivery guy. <laughs> yeah. And your body uses everything that it can. So all that gets sent to the large intestine where your poop gets made is only the food that your body cannot digest and can't use and it comes all the way around and then what's your remember what's your job <laughs> put out the trash but here is something that is really really important to know uh, to make help you do good poops and easy poops in your poop, the perfect human poop, this bit is bacterias. It's some leftover body parts where your body makes new cells. And it's your food. But this is the most important ingredient. Does anybody know what it is? It's not. That's over here. Protein. No, it's not protein. Bacteria? It's water. 75% of the perfect human poop is water. And the reason we want lots of water in our poop is because it makes our poops 
nice and soft and squishy. And nice soft squishy poops are easy to poop. Whereas hard poops, hard to poop. So water, lots and lots of water is one of the best ways to make sure that you have nice, good poops. Now you guys, we are gonna do, we got, oh, we got four minutes left. We're gonna go quick. All right, we are gonna, now we have almost no food in our poop, but elephants have tons of food in their poop. They are peeing, they are peeing and then you can watch them, they're gonna, they're gonna poop. And they poop a lot. As many as seven wheelbarrows full of poop every single day. And they are pooping out loads and loads of the grasses that they ate because their body cannot digest them. So these have all come out of an elephant's bum. You wanna smell it? No. No? <laughs> you wanna smell it? These have, these have all been cleaned up. These have all been cleaned up because you can smell. What does it smell like? Have a smell. It doesn't smell gross. No? You don't want to smell it? You want to smell it? Anybody else want to smell it while we're. Yes? You want to try? No? You want to smell it? It smells like grass, right? That's because it smells like dirt. That's what it... If you didn't get a chance and you'd like to, come up afterwards and you can smell it and touch anything you like. The reason I have these is because in Thailand, there is a poo-poo paper park. And they pick up all the poop of the elephants, they clean it all up down to these little fibers, and then they make poo-poo paper. Poo-poo paper. And these lovely people at poo-poo paper have sent you guys all a piece of poo-poo paper to take home with you as well. Now, <laughs> do you guys like snacks? Yeah. yeah, we all like snacks. Elephants like snacks too. And animals, you've already seen, animals sometimes like to eat poop. Yeah. Elephants like to eat each other's poop. And sometimes, grown-ups, brace. <laughs> Kids, you're going to love this. <laughs> because sometimes elephants like to get their snack as fresh as they can get it. Yes! Oh! What? Elephants, you're so nice, but now you're just so gross. Oh! Oh! Now, do, 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 do. We are going to go. We are going to go. All right. Now, there's lots and lots and lots of animals that eat poop. There's animals that eat their own poop, animals that eat other animals' poop, and there's lots of babies that eat their parents' poop. Now, one of my favorite is the koala baby. Yeah! yeah. Koala baby eats poop right out of its mom's bum because mom koala makes a very special baby food poop. She makes two different types of poop. Now, I don't know if you know this, but when a kangaroo has a, has a pouch, it, it points up this way. But with a koala, the pouch points down this way. So when the baby's hungry, it pops its head out of the pouch, and then it licks mom's bum to tell mom that it's hungry. And then what mom does is that she does all her normal poops. First, she has to get rid of her normal poops, and then the special baby food poop, which is like a poop pudding. It's soft, it's mushy, it's full of good nutrition. Then that comes out. So here's our koala baby licking mom's bum. And here comes mom's normal poop. Baby doesn't want that one. Those are the normal poops. What the baby is after is this. 
the special baby food poop. Now, why does mom make baby food poop? It's because her babies, like human babies, need baby food. Soft, easy to eat, full of good nutrition. But mom can't go to the grocery store and buy any, and she can't go to the kitchen and make it, so she makes it with her body. Isn't that genius? Anybody want to be a koala baby? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> All right, now you guys, lots of animals use poop as food, but they also use poop as protection. This is a bird poop caterpillar that makes itself look like a bird poop, hoping no one will want to eat it. And the bird poop spider does exactly the same thing. This little beetle, it's a larvae of a cereal leaf beetle, it carries around its own poop on its back as a poop shield so that no one will want to eat it. But there is an animal that doesn't make itself look like poop or cover itself in poop because it has poop attack powers. Yes. And our friend the penguin has got a very special butt that I like to call the bazooka butt. And its poop comes out really fast and goes really far. So that if they are under attack from some enemies, launch poop attack! Fire the cannon, fire the hold. But if you have a bazooka butt, you always have a bazooka butt, which means that sometimes when penguins are hanging out together, Dude, I'm going for a nap. Try not to poop on my head. All right, I'll try. <laughs> ah! You pooped on my head! <laughs> and this happens. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> they poop all over each other all the time. Now, you guys, do, 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 do. we are going to go quick through here because we are going to bring it in a little over time. Animals use poop as protection. They use poop as food. They also use poop to mark their territory. And one of the biggest, meanest animals on the planet is hippo. the hippopotamus. And when they poop, they want to keep everybody away. So... They spin or flap their tail as fast as they can, and that makes the poop go everywhere, everywhere like a multi-directional splatter bottom. Now, what does that look like? It looks like this. hippopotamus that does this. So as well as marking their territory, scientists believe that the male is also showing off for the girls. <laughs> hey, did you see how far I could shoot my poop? <laughs> and that is all we have time for. Thank you so much for coming to the Poop Museum. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got a newsletter called, Have We Got Poos For You? <laughs> you can sign up for here and you can find more videos on TikTok and the poop. Now, we have got a certificate to welcome you to the poo crew and a piece of poo poo paper. And if you love the poop, honey, uh, they're giving you a discount <laughs> to get some, to buy some. So where are we doing that? I'll, I'll grab it. All right. Thank you all so much for coming.